Cutters, the grassy, unpopular opinions. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Dabby. Welcome you to another Degrassi Unpopular Opinion. Now, a few unpopular opinions ago, I talked about the whole situation with Emma and Damien from Season 7, and I referenced Emma's pettiness for Chris in Season 4. Well, I made a Reddit post based on that. So, anyway, 17 days ago, and for the context, this is being taped on December 21st, 2021, I wrote, 20, uh, trying to understand Emma's pettiness in Season 4. And here's what I wrote. Mm. When she wanted to prevent... Trying to understand Emma's Petty's season four, dot, dot, dot. When she was, she wanted to prevent Chris from dating Liberty, and her saying that if Chris goes with Liberty, what does that say about her, that being Emma? Of course, the plan blows up, and Emma's yelled at by Liberty, and then Emma said she just missed Chris. But in a way, she was embarrassed to say it. That led to Emma having no friends, leaning towards Paige's click to gain friends to eliminate Rick, protecting him and losing Paige's friends. Only people she hangs at with is the quiz team, and that Rick goes after Emma for her pretending to like her. Thank him. What this situation tells me is that Emma broke up with Chris, then is regretting the decision, instead of just trying to get back together with Chris as simple as possible without being petty to Liberty. She makes it a bad move. The main plot of this post is why was petty, Emma be petty in the first place? Why would her motive slash MO, modus operandi, to do this in the first place? Just why? Not many people commented on it. Well, someone deleted a thing. Um, yeah. That somebody fucked up and said something to the point of some racist crap. Regardless, uh, Pac Pacman, one of my main contributors to his stuff, post I do, says this. This is what I think. By this point, Emma's a sophomore in high school. She probably saw what Manny did the year earlier by changing her image, and while she disagreed with it, she was like, hey, what if I become popular? So she probably worked on gaining popularity, and when she saw what was happening with Liberty and Chris. She couldn't let that happen. Seasons 1 to 3 Emma, I don't think would have done this because, because that Emma didn't really care about popularity. But season 4 and beyond, Emma was never obsessed with the environment or really did anything that she once stood for, or anything that she once stood for, like banning GM foods. I think she considered that the old Emma... I think she considered that the old Emma and decided she needed to be more mature. Also, season 4 was when... She wasn't really wearing braces, and she started her glow up. By the season 5 premiere, Emma's hanging out with popular girls at Peter's party. Peter, People don't really talk about Emma's transition to popular girl, mostly because it wasn't anywhere as successful as Manny's, but she attempted it. So what Pac-Man is trying to say is that, you know, Emma was actually a little jealous of Manny in season 3. I think she was. I wouldn't put it past Emma. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, Emma saw how Manny got attraction and all that. How many people were attracted to Emma in the first three seasons? Possibly Sean, Toby, obviously. She didn't really have many. Maybe Chris was attracted to her, but she was attracted to Chris. The fact of the matter, guys, is that Pacman says that Emma was trying to was learning that Manny changed her image and then got more popular and said, hey, what if I become more popular and step in Manny's footsteps? Unfortunately, she tripped over herself in a sense. And I think that it's a good point because the fact of the matter is that Eva, in the first three seasons, she was a little precocious, mind you, and she was terrible at times, but she was decent. And the fact that Emma figured, I, I guess, that Emma dumped Chris off. Why did Emma dump Chris off in the first place? I don't understand it. Or Chris dump Emma off. I just don't know why they broke up and all that. Liberty broke up with Towers. And Toby broke up with Kendra. So yeah, it was kind of weird seeing those three relationships all go up in smoke. Especially Towers. And Liberty. But, you know, she couldn't let Liberty and Chris happen. I don't know why. I mean... Liberty and Chris would be perfect together. I know there's a racial undertone to this because they're both black and all that and Emma should have left it go. But the fact of the matter is that's not the truth. The simple fact was that Emma got petty towards Liberty with that. She didn't want to let that happen. She didn't care about the causes and all that. Which is false because she cared about the orange ribbons and the domestic violence thing. 
Although it was kind of a ploy to get Paige's friends to like her and for her to gain friends and to stick it to Manny and Liberty by saying that I don't need you to. I can make friends on my own accord. Of course, that's false. She trips over herself. She loses Paige's click for defending Rick and then the only people on the quiz bowl are the quiz bowl team of Heather, Toby, and Rick. Of course, Jimmy replaces Heather later on, but anyhow. Yeah. Someone said she didn't want her popularity affected, not that she had any. Like if Chris states Liberty, she's on equal dating value as Liberty, who she thinks she is better than. She never wanted Chris back. She just didn't want people to think of her and Liberty as equals. Least feminist thing ever. I totally agree with that. So she basically didn't want to be on Liberty's level. I mean, she wasn't really Liberty's friend, more like her friend of me. Of course, in cult, popular culture, a friend of me is someone who you kind of have a friendship towards, but you're enemies too. Like, you're jealous of them and all that. I sometimes have frenemies. I've had frenemies in the past. But the simple fact, guys, is that, you know, um, yeah, Emma didn't want to think of herself on Liberty's level. You could kind of see that when she talks to Manny about that, and Manny says, I can make you, I can make you a glow up so that Chris sees how beautiful you are and all that, and not go near Liberty. After all, it was Manny who tipped Emma off because Liberty was writing in her math book all about Chris and all that, and Liber and Manny said to Emma, I think Liberty's gone bonkers. She's not going bonkers, she has this calculator, remember? Because remember, that was when Emma mistook Liberty and Armstrong's affection for something else. But it was something else. After all, I mean, Emma experienced catfishing and unwanted advances in the first episode of Degrassi Next Gen. So I can see why Emma did that. So regardless, is that it just doesn't make sense why Emma would try to destroy Chris. I mean, if Emma broke up with Chris, why would she want to destroy him? But that also, the, those two judgment calls are also probably saying that Chris broke up with Emma. But, I mean, why would why would Emma, you know, if she wants to be popular, why wouldn't she want Chris around her? I mean, she would bring some culture towards it. But probably because a lot of people hated Chris because of his, the way, his mannerism of speaking and, you know, probably being stereotypical black, like black uh, rap guy and all that. He was a DJ. Cool. And Emma almost lost Chris in season three because it seemed that Emma only wanted to destroy Sean over what he did to Snake. And I get it with Emma. But, you know, Chris gets Emma all shook up and told Emma off. And Emma realizes that she needs to keep things and needs to be with Chris. Why? I don't know. I don't know why she even was with Chris in the first place. Maybe she, I figured that she was only with Chris to stick it to Sean, but basically when Sean stopped being around the candy bandits and became close to Ellie, Emma thought that, okay, you know what? Sean's changing for the better, so I might as well change my outlook and not deal with Chris. But I mean, Emma for being petty about that and telling Manny about her real reasons why she wanted Chris. She didn't want to take Chris back. She just wanted Chris to prevent being with Liberty and Emma and Manny's like, wow, you said some mean things in the past, Emma, but this is one of the worst. And of course, Manny tells Liberty about the plan. Liberty yells at Emma. Emma does tell Liberty sheepishly that, you know, she just wanted to be with Chris. She just missed him. Instead of just saying, hey, you know what, I'd rather go back together with Chris and all that and not have Chris worry about Liberty and all that. I think Emma. Even if she loses Chris on that merit, then, you know, it's Chris's fault, not hers. But she botched everything, which led her to join the Orange Ribbon campaign, join Patriots Click to destroy Rick, which failed miserably, her inadvertently starting Rick's downfall, the bullying of Rick, and then Emma having her problems thinking that she should not have gotten involved with the Rick situation because of how Rick was treated, and she probably thought she was going to get in trouble with Rick's parents and all that. But because Rick was a school shooter, I think Emma had nothing to worry about. But I know one thing, if Emma got in trouble because of her role in the Rick Murray situation, she would have thrown Paige's click under the mess for fucking her over. 
And I know Paige obviously must have said something to the school to avoid Ella because the only people who pay much attention to Emma were the Quizville team of Toby, Rick, and Heather slash Jimmy. So logically, yeah. I mean, Paige using her Queen Bee stuff and all that. I could also do an unpopular opinion about how Emma's downfall was also Paige's fault before time stand still that she wasn't really popular because of Paige being a little bit angry that Emma was a hip was a hypocrite. But yeah, you know, that's attacking Paige's character. I mean, I kind of attack Paige for the fact that she was the reason why Ashley went downhill and turned golf in season two. And I also blame her in a sense for Rick's anger. Because, I mean, Rick is upset that Paige is pushing Terry away from him and thinks that Paige is, like, forcing Terry to stay by her side or else basically just throw her to the wolves. That's not completely true, but you can kind of figure where it goes from there. So, yeah, Emma's pettiness cost her dearly and cost her that PTSD. Things just, you know, spiral out of control and things connect when they shouldn't be connecting, but there is a massive connection. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. Thanks for watching.